My biggest takeaway from this tournament is that Snake Eyes not entering the whole lifespan of the game makes me sad. I'm like, where have you been, bro? Let's watch some Texas Showdown. Snake Eyes, as you can see, versus LK. This set was sick, by the way. It kind of feels like LK was best equipped for this match. Like, he felt pretty ready. Take a looky Lou at some Texas Showdown. I can turn up the volume a little. It sounds kind of quiet, huh? This is on tap and never sleeps, as always. Okay, let's get some volume. Yeah, he tried to bait throw there with ID back he was on some because you get counter hit on it and you get the combo off it, which is pretty good. Yeah, I got feast. Also, snake early bursts and gold bursts a lot. Um, that's something that he does constantly if you watch him play. I think a large part of it is how good Potemkin's life is and also the fact... Oh, I like that escape. That was cool. Uh, Potemkin has good life for that and with meter, he like basically instant wins around. There's not that many times where Potemkin doesn't just get like 100 meter and then do... Like Kara, uh, mirror super, and then just like win, like you know, or like 100 meter PRC super or something. Yeah, he, he builds burst fast too because you know he's big and he takes a lot of hits to kill, so he naturally builds a lot of burst. That doesn't work on heavy though. I feel like I saw LK try that combo a bunch and then it just never hit. Like, he tries it against him a couple of times, and it just doesn't work. No confirmed challenge? Yeah. He also backdash 5P, 5P a lot from LK. Ba pa has a good backdash, so, you know, he can he can do stuff like that. And if you're LK, you got a hard read call it out, which can get you in trouble if you're in trouble. Oh, he didn't do a setup. It can get you into some trouble. See, this 2S doesn't combo again. I wonder what the, ooh, I wonder what the answer is instead. This is really scary. Oh, he missed the car, I think. So Tommy, 50-50. I kind of feel like he was trying to bait that with the 5P, and then he just did something else. Oh, he could have won there. Uh-oh. Double uh-oh. Command grab. Yeah, that's rough. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, he's been starting with that 2S a lot. Seems like it's a good round start versus Pot. He must know something that is good for it. Yeah, that's a wall break, too. And now Snake has meters, so, like, you know it's going to be something nasty real soon. Yeah. Car back. Oh, that's unfortunate. Dead. That shit was nasty. I thought the tether would make this hit too, because like you would think because of the tether you'd be close. But it actually just whiffed on car back mega fist. Yeah, but time with meter is extremely scary. Hammerfall break uh or hammerfall car super is super spooky. And super PRC is really good with this character too. Or you can just do the super. Oh that sucks. Oh, he, he waited, yeah. Nice. He was like, all right, you you uh, going to jump this command grab or what? Not going to kill. <laughs> he has meter too, which means, yeah. It just means that anytime you think, oh, pot whiffed, I can, he can just like PRC command grab or PRC button. So, pretty bad. Oh, he missed it to Tommy. That's unfortunate. Yeah, this is a really bad spot for LK. Burst whiff, so. Or burst was blocked, rather. So he has like no burst gauge here. Oh, oh man, that could have been a huge. He probably could have killed off that 2H. I imagine 2H into like. I think he tried 5K car back Mega Fist, right? Or, but like Garuda also probably would have done a lot. Ooh, that was about the wall splat. Car flick. He's in. Backdash BRC. Somebody asked me in YouTube comments, what does Backdash BRC do? So the reason Backdash BRC is good and why people do it is when you Backdash, you have invincibility frames, right? 
So you backdash and then cancel your backdash with a BRC forward. This gives you the invuln frames of your backdash to get out of whatever, whatever they're doing. And then afterwards, you slow down your opponent and you can do whatever you want in the air, right? And because they're slowed down, you know, anything you do is like plus 100. It lets you be invuln and then attack after on a backdash. This is why people do it. And he just does Yozansen there afterwards, right? So it's really, really strong. But the backdash, yeah, again, invuln, BRC forward, really good. Yeah, and airborne normals are generally going to be easy to hit there, and they're going to be mega plus. Leo's Onsen, yeah. I'm surprised no super. Wow, he had enough wall health for that. No super again. What if you win? Alright, dead. Okay, okay, okay. That was a little spooky. He should have supered like twice there for safety, maybe, but maybe that's just me being mega safe talking. He's trying to be more optimal. I feel like I would have done like 2D super if I'm safe, but he knew that there was more wall health. He's, he's more familiar with the character than I am, so. Oh, boy. Thanks for the uh, 13. Nice bait. Oh, but no punish. He got ID back. Oh, you're a Sage Jam fan now? What up, Kip? Thanks for the prime. 2H? Nice. He could have gotten like a little bit more, maybe like close slash probably, I would guess, but this is also perfectly fine. Yeah, wall break, you have positive bonus, you have a lot of life, you have burst. It's a pretty favorable spot for LK. And he's about to build more 50 meter here. Oh, you're a Sage Jam fan now? Dead. Nice shot. Uh, thanks, shot guy, for the prime. That was a nice air-to-air. -air. One thing that you can do in this matchup with Biken is play like a reactive anti-air game like that. I think that's actually pretty good against a couple of the characters in this game. A couple of the heavier characters. Oh, it's 5p. Missed. Boss. Bend the bar. Get the corner. Bang. I thought that was going to be negative 2. Also, I, I, like not minus 2, but like... I thought this would be negative. I wonder if it is, and then his button just didn't reach. Oh, he recovers first. And it's close. It's not that plus, right? That's only slightly. Like maybe it's a couple frames. I mean, her button is faster there too, right? Her 5P is faster. LK did 5P, he did challenge. The reason it didn't hit was not because LK didn't challenge. His 5P just didn't reach. Like, I think LK could have jumped at 5k, right? Pop players might know, but I'm pretty sure. Oh, burst save. Oh, and he could have, if he did, uh, what's it called? Heat knuckle there, he wins the round. But this is still a pretty hard spot to lose if you're a snake, you're just chilling. Yeah, it, it could just be that it was spaced out. That's my guess. Oh, no super. Oh, didn't hit. Gold burst. Yeah. I bet, I feel like he could have jumped. Round start, LK has used 2S every time. It must be most of Pot's options. My guess is it goes under 5P and it beats his 2P for some reason. Because it, it's won a lot on, oh my god. Tap Dust. That's not that bad though. You didn't take that much damage, even though you get wall broken. Yeah, now you're dead. Positive bonus, extra damage on that. He builds meter after too. What a bendy. Thanks to the 11. Oh, that's like the one time he didn't can't get counter hit at round start. Ooh. Nothing juicy there. Nice. I love the challenge. Oh, but he hit 5p seven times instead of uh, confirming a 6k. That sucks. That's that's tournament nerves for you there. Ooh, that's bad. Ooh, he waited that time to see what he was gonna do. Gun, like that. Man, he's really trying to bait throw a lot. He hasn't really just pulled up and done close slash pressure almost at all, right? Ooh, that too. It feels like LK is playing extremely conservative on his own Oki, right? Like he, it feels like he really does not want a, a nasty scramble and not to happen to him and, and go his way. Yeah. A bit too telegraphed, I think. Easy to say as a spectator, for sure. 
That sucks. He's dead. No, again? Same thing. He thought there was one more hit. Also, notice that LK doesn't cancel like far slash into 2H that often, autopilot or or uh, does far slash into um, whatever it's called. You know the thing, Kabari, because he doesn't want to get mega fisted, right? And the cancel will beat it. Also, right here, I think it's worth going overhead because if your opponent has YRC and you do Yozonsen, Yozonsen puts you airborne, and getting air YRC is like is great, right? If LK does low there and Snake Eyes YRCs, then he has to burst because he's point blank, and now Snake Eyes is you know plus ten, so he can't. Right? Can't can't do that. So got him. No. I wonder if Charge Dust would have done enough. And the gun is not that good because oh I he got I would have hit the same button it would have hit me too. This really didn't reach huh? All right, my bad. The gun I mean it's okay in neutral but like unless you have a hundred meter and then you RC and then you run up, you know. It doesn't do that much for you unless you're or you're doing like an anti-anti-air while he had 100 meter here he didn't really have a good time to do it that i think made sense right he doesn't really have a good chance to gun super like he if he does it there he just gets he gets hit by 2d and it's over so yeah he, he like he doesn't have a chance to do it i decay not a bike in main just my idea is a good example of like a. As a spectator, it's easy to be like, dude, he should just back up and shoot the gun. He's playing a match in tournament and we're watching on our couch like, dude, he should hit him. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's why I often say like, you know, earlier when he 5 p like eight times, like yeah, that was bad, but it's tournament. Like he's nervous and things are going on. You know, hindsight is 420. Exactly. It's funny too, because this is the other winner semi and uh, both of these matchups are, are interesting for Pot, right? I think Pot gets uh, beat up by Chip, right? And Leo, Leo has some problems against Potemkin, but generally, I imagine he's okay. If you FD the YRC. Yeah, and air YRC is really not a common scenario anyway. Getting YRC while you're in the air is common, more common than air YRC, which is much less common. What up, 7 FPS? Thanks for the uh, prime. I mean, no ill will to his decisions. I'm sure, but, you know, it's just how it comes across sometimes. Some people are like, he should just X. Like, he should, he should just win. I agree. But it's like... It's it's easier said than done is the way. Damn. Throw is not guaranteed there anyway, so I I think there's a misconception about how throw works here. Like if you IB, it's not like you can just always throw here and beat everything. Throw is particularly good for big characters, not going pot. But other characters, IB and throw is not great. He's still plus enough off this that back turn K will hit hit chip if he throws here, right? So, I mean, he had a three frame button right there and traded, so that's probably way better. Oh, damn, he didn't wall break from that far. It actually works pretty far away. I thought that would. Oh, no. I thought that would work. 2H? No, that'll do too. Bang. Chip has no life, so he didn't really need that much there. Yeah, Leo's backdash, right, is uh, not throw invuln when he's in back turn, but it will get him out of the way of the throw, even on the big characters, right? That's generally what people do after Berserker, the, the mix up against like Nago. Yeah, they can throw because he's in range if they IB, yeah. 
But generally, that's the guess. Uh, the guess that they can do on Berserker or not throw or because if you have a big if you have a big throw range, then you can grab him after. But if you don't have the big throw range of those characters, then you're stuck. Back turn cancel in a throw is untackable, bro. I'm telling you, that shit is free damage. Leo players know that. Because, like, if you see back turn Leo, who's stand teching his throws? Like, I mean, it's not me. Like, I don't know who is. It's not anybody in tournament. Like, it's nobody. I don't know. This shit is, yeah. It's like, no one's ready for it, man. Ah, uh, the dash through. Normal throw on back turn? So, some characters have bigger throw ranges than others. So, you typically, see, like, one really popular matchup you see is Leo versus Nago. And in that matchup, uh, Nago has a big throw range, right? He has bigger throw range than most characters. So when he blocks Berserker Slash, throwing after is like a real thing he can do to uh, Leo because he has a larger throw range and other characters whose throws won't reach um, can't throw there where Nago has a big throw range. So, he can throw. so like if you're back, if you know you block a Berserker Slash and he's back turning, you try to throw with a character that has normal throw range and he does back turn K, you just get hit. I thought you were saying Leo had a normal throw in back turn. Yeah. He has a command grab. He can also stance cancel his uh, back turn. Yeah, Beta Leo could just combo off of back turn. Uh, off of Berserker Slash, rather, without bar. That was like a real thing. I thought that Nago always had the IB to punish with throw. I thought that it could be too far on regular block, but I could be wrong. Yeah, they were upset that... I mean, a lot of people were upset that Leo lost it, but... Oh, that's a huge counter hit that hurt. But at the same time, like, you know, pe I think the the cry from people about it was like, dude, they're removing stuff. The game's not going to be as fun or as wild. Like, Leo losing this is not going to be as fun or as cool. And like, nah, bro, it's way more cool that I don't die when I get hit by Berserker Slash. I don't think so. I think it's way more cool. I think it's way better. Yeah, he ended up, he was one of the best characters in 1.0 without it. So, you know. Like, he, he's one of the best characters. I mean, he's been good in every version of the game. So, you know. Nice 5P. Oh. They said he lost his ability to loop Oki. Yeah, true. I'm, that'll happen any patch now. Nice. Great cancel back right there to bait the uh, Flash Kick. What up, Shurikens? Because that was, like, the best answer, probably, for that 2D. 2D was active enough that I don't think he could have thrown, so Flash Kick was like the best bet. Damn, Zippy is cooking. What up, it's Shurikens? Yeah, Zippy, Zippy playing Kai, I remember that. Unless I'm thinking of somebody else, but Zippy, I feel like I had seen in Heaven playing Kai before. All you do against Chip and Neutral is hope they're bad at the game. <laughs> Beating Chip in neutral with a lot of characters is usually not consistent because you rely on them making mistakes a lot of the time. He's hard to beat in neutral. That's kind of his thing, right? A lot of people's best answers are... This combo is sick, by the way. Look at this shit. I thought he was going to do something super tight. I like that idea, too. But then the 6K gets you nothing. Yeah, so... You don't really get much off of it. Hey, it's Kazam. Interesting choice between the two characters, whether to play Milia in the May or Testament. I actually have no idea which is better, to be honest with you. I don't know. I would assume this matchup is really annoying for Milia. 
Like as a non Milia player, I would assume that Testament's better, but I honestly have, I have literally no clue. Maybe both are fine, to be honest with you. Oh, didn't break the wall. Dust? Nice. Does May win a lot of tournaments? Not often, but May's a good character in this version. Definitely can win tournament. Dolphin RPS is better as Milia. Is it? I, I actually don't know what Milia hits. Like, she has fast buttons, but do they reach? Is my question. Nice, good knowledge there to block. Yeah, I think Testament has probably better control most times, but maybe Milia, you can just do. What's it called? You also die so fast with this character, but maybe you just have better ways to threaten. Uh, not dead, right? Yeah. Her results are comparable to Faust and Pemkin. Hey? I don't know. Faust and Potemkin. Oh, like top tier character specialist? I mean, May has done well in other tournaments too. But the character was more popular in the beginning of the game, I think, and less popular now. Yeah, saves the bar. Most melee players don't break the wall with meter because their setup's pretty bad, and it's better to just, yeah do something like that. And now you get super because you have a hundred meter. You might as well. Not gonna kill, but you can just pull up, do some stuff, watch the YRC. Wow, that was fast. That was really quick. Super did like six damage. Yeah, it doesn't do a lot of damage, and also it doesn't give you a good setup. So. Anji is stronger than May. I think that's a hot take for most people. Yeah, I mean, most people think May is quite strong. That's a lot of meter, though, and you get no kill. Oh, dead. Dang, that 5 H. Maze Dolphins, a meterless reversal? Not quite, but. Whip punish. No, it's too far for the Dolphin to work from there, though. She has great grounded buttons. That's the thing about May is like most of the people you play who play May are just like doing dolphin and random shit and like getting themselves killed. They're just bad. But then when you fight someone who actually plays on the ground, who's like, you know, as good ground game, you realize like how strong her grounded buttons are. And you're like, holy shit. Her grounded buttons are really good. Her air buttons are also really good too. She has a really despicable command grab. Her grounded buttons are super good. Her air buttons are great. Her damage output obviously is very good. What a royal tariff. I watch on YouTube all the time. Howdy, thanks for coming by the stream. A lot of people who like catch the YouTube and then randomly they're like, oh, he's live. I would, if you watch on YouTube all the time, any streamer, I would say you should just go like follow their stream on Twitch because you might be surprised that they stream in a time you can watch. And then you're just like, oh. Yeah, that's that's how I am too for the streamers that I like. That was a cool setup. Saw this? 6H Beach Ball, Fast RC, into 2D, into H Dolphin for plus ram. I'm sure you get a comp. Nice dash block. Uh, you get a combo on hit, but also, you know, 
on blocker plus. Look at this dash block. Something that's very important defending against May. You might as well. Anytime she does like a cancel and you know a dolphin's coming, you should just dash block because if she does straight dolphin here, you dash into it and you block it and you're fine. If you dash block and she does vertical dolphin, then you go under her and you can punish. Something that uh, I really advocate for doing against this character because as long as your dash is not really slow, you just make it out of there. Yeah, it's something that I've always recommended. It's really good. My character's got no dash block. Well, if your character's got no dash block, either you play Nago or Potemkin. So either I feel bad for you a little or not at all. Well, that's supposed to be a combo, but he just missed it. That's her. Oh, missed it. Yeah, also, May Command Grab is like extreme. I like that gold burst on 6H, actually. I think he's done that a couple of times, so I'm assuming it's on purpose. Because he just like sees the 6H charging and he just takes the guaranteed gold burst to get out of the corner and build the meter. That's pretty smart. There are times in this game where you can purposely gold burst and just punish things that are pretty good. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> yeah, I do that too when I watch streams sometimes. Oh, he missed it again. Yeah, May's command grab is extremely fucked up. Meterlessly, I mean, it's ridiculous. Like, Nice. It's okay, you can spend the meter here to be plus. Oh, it's four frames. Why not? Yeah, her command grab, like, I mean, May, when she command grabs you, she explodes you, right? Like, she gets tons of damage, and she gets a bajillion corner carry, which is really brutal. Yeah, her, her command grab meterlessly, it might be the best. I think it might be the best. Is it better than BSU? I mean, I think it's better than Pop Buster. I think it's better than Wild Throw. I don't know if it's better than BSU. It's better than Faust, I think. Because Faust is great too, but May gets set up and damage and corner carry and wall break and all kinds of stuff. Oh, I think that could have killed too. The damage is just like fuzzy jumping out of the corner and making it out of all of this. That's death. I think bite, bite, and this command grab are pretty close. BSU is bite. Yeah. BSU is noggle bite. Oh, that's a, an unfortunate miss. Want a close slash two H. Wild throw is the worst command grab. Is it? I mean, it's a good command grab, but it definitely does not have the best. It's, I don't know if it's the best. It, it's the other command grabs might be better, even though wild throw is quite good. Like it's not better than Maze or or uh, Nagos. Speaking of the devil, you get you get a non-burstable combo off it most times too. Damn Fang? Nah, Damn Fang is really good, I think, actually, though, because it gives him his resources back. Le Leo's command grab is the worst. Yeah, that's probably the worst. Jacko's? Her super? It's not really used as a command grab, though, because if that's the case, we count HMC, and that's the worst for sure. Nah, Bridges' command grab is good too. Yeah, Bridges' command grab and Soul command grab, I would say, are similar. I think the, the two best are May and Nago, probably. Chips is, like... It's pretty good. Oh, did spend super this time. 
the mix. Choose the side switch, jump eight. Mantis, Mantis is good. Oh my god, did that 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 clip you, right? Oh, that hurt. That fucking sucked. Oh, that was a punish. You could have done better, though. I don't think you could have killed, actually, probably, right? Oh, too active. Yeah, I've said that Nam is Jesus Christ. That's pretty funny. Zalto's command grab is really good. Zalto's really strong command grab. The resources, man. It's not, it's not about the grab itself, but it's... Getting uh, whatever it's called back is really nice. That's a 6P, yeah. Damn, 6K? Eddie comes back too fast, bro. I said it. Nice dash block. Again, you always do that because... If it's vertical dolphin or beach ball, nice little challenge. Oh, where did that even hit? Why does Eddie come back so fast? Ah, oh, the the classic. The classic. If you get hit by one, you're probably going to get hit by the other. I don't know why, but it's kind of always like that. Oh, that was nasty. All right. I like that one. What like that? Oh, I like that a lot. Nice, good escape. Ooh, that was a little scary. No card disc. Oh. Good block too. That's that's tough to block. So you gotta you have to have some kind of matchup knowledge to know. Cross up? No, in the front still. Damn. I thought he was gonna steal the corner and take the cross up. Yeah, I mean, look at the risk right now. This is like, this is fucked up. Like, May hits her and it's over. Like, it, she just explodes. <gasps> oh my god. If that jump H air to air hit, dead. Right before the burst, by the way. I think actually you might have been able to burst. Oh no, I got built right on the last hit. That was a little spooky. Hey, it's Rat. Another very stressful matchup. <laughs> For Milia. Damn, two Milias in top eight. This character must be as broken as Potem. So funny. You know, I, rat, I ran into Rat in the tower before this tournament, and Rat was playing Soul. <laughs> I was like, why is Rat playing Soul? Does Rat actually play Soul in tournament ever, or is it just for fun? For fun character. Soul is very fun. I don't blame anybody. Just for fun? Okay. I was curious, because I was playing Gold Lewis, and I was like, maybe he doesn't like the Gold Lewis matchup. Yeah, I played a soul in, in power. But I played Golos, and Golos beat soul also, so, you know. Yeah, Yipes loves Milia. Yipes love for Milia got Golos flamed yesterday in the Discord. Yeah, he's he's he went full sin. <laughs> wow, the wake up 2D. Oh my god, that 2H was fucking feral. That shit might have hit me too, actually, though, for real. Oh my god, he pulled the fuck up. That shit scares me. That's her. You know, Leo's guard point is so stupid. All in favor of agreeing, say I. Like, Leo's guard point. What a move, dude. That shit is so wild. What a wild move. That shit is ham. Nice. I like that route. That it is a ridiculous move. Not only is guard point hold annoying to deal with, but the follow-up is huge. Oh, 
Okay, Brad's seen enough. You gotta spend, you gotta do bad moon sometimes, you know? I'm a no meter bad moon enjoyer. Cause everybody, like, they're too scared to do it without meter, which is, it's like Yozansen where if you don't do it without meter, then it's not as scary. You know, cause I'm only scared if you have meter then. I never, I just block low all the time and I'm chilling. But Rat actually does it, which I think is what makes Rat's pressure harder to deal with. It's, it, honestly, it's really scary to, to do. The thing is that everybody has bad punishes on it too. Like, not like actually, but when they block it the first time, no one's ready to do their sick, nasty punish. I feel like they're like, oh fuck. Damn, Rat held the burst. Uh, Leo 5P, excellent little anti air. And uh, that was a good spot to put yourself in if you're Leo. Yeah, in the burst early. Leo, you know, I think is pretty happy to burst like that against this character. I I don't mind bursting really early against Milia most of the time because she uh, she's probably gonna build me burst again multiple times, especially if you're playing a character with a lot of life. She's gonna build you a shit ton of burst, and like you you might as well just do it not to let her get going. I think uh, momentum bursting against her is quite good. Like bursting early in the round when she gets like not even a big hit, like a 2k 2d. Totally fine to burst against this character. Yeah, maybe doesn't know. This hits cross up. This setup here where they they jump off the rose like this. I'm not sure if people know. But as you can see by Leo's direction, if you don't know and you see them do this like mix up and they turbo fall and they do the capital, it's cross up in the corner. You got to block it. Cross up. Yeah, a lot of people don't know that, which is why it's free damage. Yeah. It is not a real mix up. It's always cross up. But she can land in the front and like throw you or go low or whatever too. She can do other stuff. You know. She's got other stuff she can do. It's fine. It's not like it, in, it invalidates her once you know to block a cross up. It just makes it, makes it so that you don't get hit <laughs> by that specific thing. Nice little air throw. It's not always easy to find a spot where you can air throw like that versus capital. Like it's it's really easy to just get hit by the, the hitbox rather than get behind or away and find the hurtbox of it. Oh no. Oh, didn't get back to her. Not, yeah, that is a, a good 2P. Uh oh. In the front? Cross it. Oh, and the burst. No! Oh my, that sucks. And the burst, yeah, of course. You gotta fight for the round. Damn, that's what you did? No bar. Okay, alright, even Rat knows. Alright. You did no bar hair car right there? You just were like, yeah, that's fine. Okay, punish. Oh, uh, dude, Rad's trying to set up the the YouTube monsters to write about Milia. What was that drop? That sucked. Try to get the the wall slump, and then when it didn't happen, just convert it into super. Good adjustment. Ed. Yeah. Rad played it a little bit more close to the chest that round. Nelia buffs win. Keep it down. They've, they've given Milia buffs in like basically every patch though. Right? It's funny because there's a couple of characters who have get, gotten some form of buff in like almost each patch. It's really funny to think about. Even if they've also gotten nerfs alongside of it. Oh, that's like the second time that drop has happened, huh? Always back to the front with that setup. And yet it hits me all the time too. The S disc cross up nerf, yeah. Ooh, that was a lot more extra burst. 
That shit was really funny though. The as this cross up, cheating. Hey, six K didn't hit. Dude, Rat's approach right now is uh, a lot of dash 2P and really looks frustrating. Jurassic Corey is, I'm sure, just like, dude, how do I get this character off me? Bursting the 2P seems bad. I mean, Rat could have just done 2P, 2P block, but was already hit confirming 2P, 2P in a 6P disc. Should be easier for her to bait burst. Mm. She builds a lot of burst, and she has ways to bait it that are hard commitment and stuff. But generally, she's not that kind of character, you know, where her stuff is routed against it. Kazam versus uh, LK, right? There is a gap there. That's good matchup knowledge. Characters that have a gap on their 2K 2D, you can parry in between with Biken. Oh, that was cheap. A lot of important things to keep in mind in this matchup, right? Is like in the mid range, I, Testament obviously has really big normal. Whoa. Testament obviously has really big normals and control. And Fireball controls grounded space really well. Crow can beat the anti air stuff, or can be an anti air for stuff. So Testament can control mid range really well. It's just on, um, what's it called? Bike into force in a way that gets you in and doesn't get you smoked, basically. Spend some bar here on the mix up. Oh. Right there, also, that's a very scary spot to just do crow. Because if you just do crow when the fireball hits like that, you don't get both hits and it doesn't push back. Like, 2H just destroys you. Like, dashing 2S destroys you. Like, you gotta be really careful about this. And then if you just try to do something on the ground, air dash destroys you at that range. So, you have to be very careful about just committing preemptively with stuff as testament at that range. Oh, these six H's are really catching these back dashes. Yeah. Oh, that's huge. Oh, missed it. Second hit of the skull didn't hit. Five H Arbiter. Kabari lands. Kabari pretty good if your opponent's gonna try something like that, right? If they're gonna try doing Arbiter. Oh, that's a big block. Chonky punish. Uh oh, that's really bad. Doesn't do crow actually. I'm kind of surprised. Uh oh. Yeah, you got a burst there, or this happened. Nice. Good air dash back. Late air dash back jump pass, and that would have been stain pop, so it would have been burst safe, and then you could do whatever you want after. I mean, you can just do calamity PRC. You don't have to do uh, whatever it's called. You don't have to even do the super. You can just do Calamity into PRC and just do Super PRC and be safe. I did that a lot when I played this character. Because uh, it's really good. Super PRC is really good, it turns out. One thing that Kazam's doing that I think is cool is trying to do like um, Crow on OTG and then on Knockdown rather. And then uh, trying to do Air Crow to, to apply Stain in the Air instead. Yeah. I think LK read maybe that it was going to be Crow there. Which 2H would have beat. It's just my opinion, man. Oh my god. Yeah, 2K is also very good for uh, Testament in this matchup. They can just like swing. Yeah, crash confirm. They can just swing it against the slightly plus scenarios and have a better check than most characters have against Biken. Knockdown, setup, bang, bang, double overhead. Ooh, I like that. That was a cool setup. That hurts too, yeah. LK in a bad spot. Heather? No, it goes for the throw. Damn, jumped again. This should kill. Nice. That was a good little confirm to BRC there and get a lot of damage on that. You know, LK was kind of moving and grooving, it felt like, in that snake set, looking good, and then seems like maybe not in the same place here in this set. Struggling to make anything happen. Stain, chillin', plus frames, throw. 
Stain is like the go, isn't it? It's so good. Like you're just man, that trade sucks for LK. God damn, that did a lot of damage. Uh oh. Yeah, throw caught the 2K. This actually makes Testament's pressure so much better. The tether there really helped. Uh oh. Yeah, that was. You gotta delay it a lot, I think. There, that was a little too early. You generally gotta wait until they're at the bottom. You're at the bottom of your juggle height. Try to burst. Oh, I missed. It's okay. Took advantage of the far slide. Damn! You hit 6k right there. <laughs> what up, Tech Zero? 6k is a good answer to a lot of stuff too, right? Because it'll go over like... Uh, oh, that's a drop. That sucks. 6k will go over like uh, 2k and stuff. Or, or 2s and maybe even depending on the range, I'm guessing. So it's not bad for that, right? I like that. Fake out. Doesn't go for the double overhead. Oh, and late that time. That probably beats parry also, I'm guessing. Oh, got him. Yep. Kind of like a straightforward answer, right? LK just like did it. Was like, all right, I'm there dashing. Which I, I think hasn't like done answers like that that much so far. So Kazam, you know, expected LK to respect. And then, yeah, see, that time it doesn't work. But just like expected him to respect and play a little slower. Which with Biken in this matchup, I think you kind of have to do a little bit of both. Like you have to preempt sometimes with air dash because otherwise like the ground is just miserable to fight. You know what I mean? One thing I wish, I actually wish Kazam would do a little less in moments like this. Instead of just like dashing in all the way deep here and like trying to cover with this air dash and then, you, you know, you get the 6P or whatever. But I kind of wish Kazam would just like dash up and then hold space and just wait in the corner. Because when you have Stain on, LK can't air dash out because you just 6P on, even on block, you're incredibly plus. And then he chases so deep that you're out of the corner, right? And got him out. I kind of wish it was like, hold the corner a bit with like 6p far slash arbiter that kind of stuff right i i wish that was what we saw instead of chasing so deep because in this matchup i think sometimes less is more you know nice parry see this is why lk does this air dash back by the way look at the damage you get off of throw bait here no super either but yeah, I don't think it's like a problem and I don't blame Kazan for trying it, but I kind of wish we saw a little bit more holding, holding space. Yeah. Another thing about Testament 2k in this matchup, that's great. Even if you don't IB this to make it more negative so you can challenge after Testament hits 2k and then bike and far slash just goes over it. You're like, all right, cool. You're like, I'm chilling. Nice. Looks good on my end. Yeah, I mean, I do that too. When I fight Testament and other characters with 2k, 2d gap, I backdash it. When I play Gold Lewis, I backdash it and challenge. A lot in the corner, people try to do 2k, 2d as Testament, and I just I backdash and then get all kinds of damage. That did so much. Nice walk back. Love that. Love walk back to bait the throw there. Because instead of trying to counter hit the throw with a button or anything, walk back is great because you, uh, you put yourself out of range. So you don't have to risk getting back thrown on accident. Right. Also much better than back dashing because you just give up way more space when you back dash. Very good. Big fan of that. A Tommy jump D. Nice. Good damage. He's chilling. Oh, unsafe Kabari into far slash and Kazam just, I think, didn't expect it. Oh no. Yeah, rough angle to get past the crow there. Wow, that just hit overhead. Arbiter sign. Arbiter. Arbiter. Remember when Arbiter's recovery was so bad that you couldn't do anything after like that? Like, you had to be close enough to hit a button or it just didn't work, and now you can do Arbiter into Arbiter. <laughs> yeah, okay, goes low there, looking to spend some bar, gets clipped. Arbiter used to be terrible on recovery, it was so bad before. Try to Kabari. One thing, yeah, I was gonna say, Kazami's been teleporting a lot to the the seals. 
and uh, it's been working out okay, actually. I like that idea. This is when it gets bad, though. Biking deficit. Oh, I'll try to parry, I'm guessing. And that's huge. Oh, this is a really bad spot now. No cancel on the Kabari. I think just didn't believe. <gasps> Where was the Yozansen? Oh, no. That was it right there. Oh, the teleport timing was so good. A couple of drops there, actually. Unfortunate from LK. Well played, though, for Kazam. He really, I think he understood how good teleport is in a matchup like this. When people have to approach you, teleport becomes great because you it's like ships passing in the night, essentially. Like, you know that they're going to be running towards you. So when you teleport, you like swap and then you gain space because of it. Pretty good little tool to, to represent. He did it a lot. I think probably more than most people would do. But LK didn't answer it. So I think like if that's the case, you kind of just keep doing it, right? I, I generally don't recommend using teleport a lot until you know when and why it's good to use it. And like clearly Kazam was, was ready, right? Kazam was like, all right. This looks good. I'm just going to keep sending this over and over. We are swanging. This do be a swanging match. These characters are both, you know, very high flying characters. Low life. Generally, I think Chip's ground and control is much better than Milia's. And uh, the nice thing that Chip has is he has great, uh, he has he has better air to air generally too. I think. Yeah, take the corner carry. Mm, it was gonna be burst there, but I don't think Flair is gonna spend it even if he built it. No reason to. You know. There's the burst. Okay. What if they made a reversal faster? Milia's super? I don't know if it would matter that much. They don't do the reversal that often anyway. Gotta think about burst. You know what? That was a great burst. That was well, well delayed. Oh my fucking air throw. Holy shit. <laughs> Jamming. Yeah, I know. It was a reversal wing right after. Yeah, that air throw was like snappy as hell. That's how you know you're on point. Oh wow, that was a punish. Yeah, 6p again. Love the combo for the side swap. Alright, blocked correctly. I could have killed, huh? 5H and a car, hair car into like the juice. Oh, it hit through the body. Thank you, 6P. Thank you, 6P. I appreciate you. Sixty p got my back. Yeah, it's it's what happens in situations like that is that the other characters when they stick out their normal. They stick out their hurt box, and then the hurt box goes through, and is where your character's hitbox is on the other side. Oh, no punish! Wow, I'm surprised he didn't get close slash. He gets set up here. Help, bro, these IBs. Still not getting out, though. Uh, dead. Yeah, he did block the double turbo fall, but uh, Rat's close slash was a little late, actually. It wasn't like a frame one, like immediate turbo fall, turbo fall, close slash scenario. But even still, I think it would have hit a lot of people. <laughs> Nice, that was a good try. Rat empty jumped and then try to 6p. 
Yeah, this round looking pretty hard to win. Oh, that shit's despicable. Oh, nice. That's cool. 2H right away into the alpha, and then you use the double jump jump P. Double turbo fall is very good, yeah. Amelia has a lot of stuff like that that's like really nasty. I think her biggest problems are generally not in her character kit, but like her matchups against some of the strong characters being really annoying more than anything. Oh, nice. That RC was very good. And that'll do it. <laughs> the James Chen commentary. Hmm, nice DP. That setup is like always air dash back to the front. So DPing in the front there, I think is good. Oh, I don't, I think Flair didn't think it was going to combo actually, which I, yeah, I wouldn't have known either. I think. Nice. I like that bad moon. I like it again. Oh my God. How did he block that? How did you even see that she went to the other side? Oh my, it chipped, by the way. That didn't even hit. That just chipped. Wow. Anything that's like a jump in for real with like an extended uh, hitbox will hit Iron Savior, right? So yeah. the fact that he let him rock is uh, very fortunate. Very surprised that actually hit. Hit up the clone, though. 2 p immediately. You see that here from Rat. There's the anti right there. The follow 5 p anti counter hits are now. Yeah, I was going to say maybe grab is. It needs to be on the table more for sure. The final side switch, too. Yup. Noise. Holding FD there, so got far slash, which means the pressure after Familia is not that scary. Oh, I like that too. The whiff, whiff Rekka. Wow, that was fucked up. That was a cool combo. Really hard to burst, right? Spaced out 5H, the tumble, you dash in for the 2K wall stick. That was sick. Nice. Yeah, you get a tumble stay off the 5H like that. Now the burst, yeah, of course. Rai is chilling though. This is a good spot to be capital out or turbo fall. Yeah, Rat's chilling. Yeah, of course. You're just vibing here. You're in a really good spot. You have meter. Dead. Yeah, you're just chilling. You have meter, you have big life lead, you have burst, your opponent does not. You're just chilling there. Stun Dipper RC transcends the hair car. Not quite as good, thankfully. I feel like Milia with Stun Dipper would be a nightmare. It would be maybe the worst day of my life. Hair cars five frames, yeah, I imagine. Mm -hmm, still gets the combo after. Love to see it. Wow, what a block! Yeah, actually, Flair, check him, check him, PC. Check him, PC, bro. This is not normally. He blocked air dash, jump H, air dash, uh, bad moon earlier. Like, bro, are you good? Like, all right, calm down. Do you know how much of your life force is being sucked away blocking like this? This shit is probably years of his life going away, just like needing to see the frames to block this shit. Oh, that sucks. Check him, PC, bro. Card disc. And that time goes cross up. Nice. That was good. Usually they always air dash back to the front, so. That was a nice little setup. Winners finals. Winners finals. Wow, wow, you started with Kara Command Grab. Yes, yeah, Rat's a gamer, as we all know. Millia top four in the uh, tournament. 
So what does that make top four? Top four is Milia, Testament, and Milia, and then Pot and Leo. That's the top four. Well, I'm surprised Flick hit from that far. A little 2D on the whiff. Snake with the early burst. As usual, kind of like, kind of what I always expect from Snake Eyes is early burst and gold burst too. Also, very scrambly on defense. I feel like a lot of times Snake is trying to back Mega Fizz, back dash, or challenge. Because Potemkin's, his defense is not, yeah, that'll hurt. And you can kill here. Even if that didn't kill, you could have fast our seed into Heat Knuckle and it's unburstable damage. But yeah, Pod's one of those characters where like swinging on defense is not that bad because like basically you have so much life and if they hit you, it builds you meter and burst. So you don't really care. Save jump, far slash, command grab, dead. But Damkin's defense is good because he has a lot of life and back Mega Fist and a good back dash. He can just go fucking ape shit sometimes and if he makes it out, he wins, you know? Oh my god. That combo was gonna hurt so fucking bad. That shit was gonna be Car Kara bag Mega Fist into all kinds of shit. 6k no cancel there too. Yeah, it is... One thing about Leo for sure is that when he puts himself negative like that with 5k and 6k and stuff, he's got to be very careful against this character. He can get smoked real fast. He has meter here too. Hammerfall, RC situation? No. The mirror. This shit's cheap. That super is ham, bro. That super is so ridiculous. It's really good. Oh, no flick. There it is. 5H catches. That's the thing about backdashing against Potemkin. Is that if he does like slide head or like a big button like that and then happens to catch you, you're like, uh-oh. Oh, he tried to do backdash BRC overhead and missed it. I like that. I like just taking the low. Not not risking it on the command grab or anything like people normally do. Oh, you dashed in. He's going to burst. Yeah, of course. Yeah, look. This is why this super is so good, bro. Look. Oh, he tried. Oh, my God. Yeah, that was a good gold burst back. Oh, you can't. You can't I hit this like that. What up, no dices? Look at this. That was genius. 6P. Yep. Yeah, 6P. You, know, you can't. You have to like flash kick there. Like though, or like air throw or something. It's it's so hard to hit it with the ground in normal. <laughs> yep, that is a snake eyes classic setup. You either do the jump in or you whiff jump P and you go for command grab. Back Mega Fist is despicable for sure. It's a despicable move. It's so good. Yeah, bad spot for Snake in this round though. Back dash? Uh oh. I actually wonder if Command Grab might have worked there. Or regular grab. Yeah, I mean, back Mega Fist. It's a hand move. It's very good. Oh, he tried. The thing is there, if you hit close slash, he also gets exploded. So, oh yeah. You want a gold burst on a wake up, I'm sure. From Nash. Mitch's boots, say jam boots, Mitch's boots. Dead. All right, game on the board. Starting to adjust. Snake started trolling. I think the opposite. I think opponent also figured it out a bit here. Got cozy. As I'm sure if you watch the grand finals, you know. I mean, I would imagine that unless Zippy has fought Snake, Zippy probably hasn't played very many Potemkins of this skill level. Oh, Mr. Kara. 
gotta be a mistake right there from the side of Zippy doing that duck of that distance. One thing that Snake does a lot and is really good at in neutral, right, is raw Garuda, car Garudas. And part of what makes them so good is that Zippy's trying to whip punish stuff, and Garuda is so slow that you try to whip punish 2D into it and stuff, and you just get hit by the Garuda. So Snake uses a lot in neutral, and it's very good. Yeah, see, if you just hit close slash on stuff like that, and, like, he gets hit, you might actually just be dead. This is also really scary. Yep, tap dust. Knockdown. Just walk back 5H. Maybe looking for backdash there. That should do hell. The thing is, is that even if you like try to flash kick the gap on Giga uh, Gigantor Kai or something, the problem you end up with is that you will get cooked by the mirror after anyway. So even if you hit him, like the mirror's there. So. I'll try it. Oh, I didn't reach. Oh, that's really bad bears. Uh oh. I don't blame him because things just swung the other way, and he's like, "I gotta get out of here." One more hit. One touch. One tap. Oh, nice whiff punish. Snake does that a lot. He likes to do like whiff two P into five H or whiff two P into. Flick or Garuda. He like sets it up. He like does a little whiff and he sees what you're doing and then he goes for something else after. Yeah, 5H right there. Very, very good poke to hit. Good against back that. Most people don't swing, you know, because you're negative near a Demkin. You're like, I gotta get the fuck out of here. You know. Uh oh. Yeah, Karamir. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at the damage on this, by the way. Good block. Holy shit. Burst? Yeah. The mirror. This is hard to escape unless you get like super jump air dash or something. Okay, he got the whole screen. The mirror barely fades. He got negative penalty though, running from it. Yeah. The mirror gave him the whole screen. He just literally pulled up behind it. Was like, what up? Yeah, the mirror just goes, dude. It's so far. Oh, man. Tried to gold burst again. Snake, I mean, he does it a lot. Because, you know, a Temkin's going to build another burst. This character does not need to worry about building a burst or not. Safe jump. Back Mega Fist. He tried 2 <laughs> <gasps> oh, 2S, 2H was too far. Burst. Oh, he just waited. Oh, nice. That jump by B was slick, actually. Oh, no. This is a big chance. Snake has no defensive options. Back dash. That was clean. I'm not sure if we're going to have time for loser semis and winners or losers finals and grand finals. It might just be a go straight to losers finals angle. Maybe hey, we could try. Wow, getting thrown out of bad moon feels bad, man. Feels bad. Happens a lot, actually. Rat versus Kazam, cool match. 
Yeah, this is also interesting because Kazam, obviously a Milia player as well. Could play could play uh Milia Milia, but chose not to. We'll take those. I actually don't know what this matchup is like for a testament. To be honest. I imagine Testament actually has pretty okay control. Yeah, between stuff like that, like H Fireball, hold hold uh stain, hold crow rather to get stain on the jumps. Jump D. Six P. Rat versus Kazam is a nineties movie starring Shaq. I remember seeing that. I saw it. I seen it. Uh -oh, no, too too low. You're too low, boy. That is very good if you hit it though, because you get a, a humongous, nice two piece right there. You get a humongous amount of corner carry on button into crow into the whole combo. Like it just, you take the whole screen basically, which is really really good. Rat looks like a young Logan Sama, according to Yipes. <laughs> oh, man. Is it the long hair? Keep it down, Elder. It's a little hard to use... Um, Arbiter in this matchup because Milia is so fast and so airborne that just trying to swing in space with Arbiter, like it's very common for Milia to just go by Arbiter without caring. What up, Ducky? When I played Testament, I didn't really mind this matchup actually. It's funny that a lot of people in the chat also echoed your sentiment about this matchup, but I think it seemed fine. I didn't really care. Oh, I like that escape, but I also like the coverage from Rat even better. No, this should be Bad Moon. Oh, man, that sucks. I'd be sad about that. Yeah, Testament got some good changes this past. I mean, both of them did, to be honest. I think Milia is definitely underrated a lot of times in the sense that, like, people very commonly doom about the characters' matchups, even when they could be fine. Like, a good example is, uh, you know, like, Goldwiz beats Milia, right? But I think that has gotten better for her in, like, basically every... Version because Gold Lewis got some nerfs and she got some buffs, right? Like, oh, it's not gonna kill, right? Oh my god, even with the OTG, no, the BRC reached. That sucked. Slid right under with the 2k. That's 2 0. Oh, that didn't actually even combo. That's unfortunate because Zam spent the burst when it could have just been a punish, but it's hard to know that. Yeah. Like every, you know, it's a good example. Millia is also not an extremely common character at like a super high level. And you can do different setups and make different choices as Millia depending on who you are and like what you do. Dead. That shit is a lot of damage. Yeah, again, I think her biggest problem is matchups. You know, she runs into Leos in tournaments and dies. That's a big one. She runs into like, she runs into the heavies and dies. That's like her biggest problem most of the time, I think. That was a good escape. Oh, that was going to be death. Damn, I'm surprised he burst. This is a hard round to win. Okay, getting the burst off Kazam is pretty good, though. Man, I kind of want to see Kazam just pull up and hit 6P. Oh. Not right there earlier, but that works too. 
high beat and then yeah the lush shaker call Oh, I like that a lot. I'm a big fan of just running in there because Rat has done so much air approach that I think pulling up just with TP there is a really nice change of pace. Oh, she versus Gold Lewis. I think Gold Lewis wins, but I think it's, it used to be harder for her than it is now, actually. Yeah, there's still a character coming out in May for this game, as a reminder. You know, Kazam's done a good job of escaping a lot of the Milia mix-ups, actually. Which makes sense, given that he's a Milia player. Full 2H for the break. Oh, didn't get BRC. That sucks. Yeah, you're smoked. Mm -hmm. Love the OTG setup. Nice, dude. That escape is really important to not get stained. Got punished on the landing frames, but Rat's doing a great job. That's good good matchup knowledge to know that you can get out like that. Dude, you look huge. What a bait. Oh, I love that. Big fan of the empty throw. Yeah, it's time to mix. Oh, yeah. He was feeling it. He's like, I'm good, bro. I don't need this shit in my life anymore. Nice. I love that he stood in place and didn't just run. It's really common for Milia players to just always run, run, run. But like, you got to hold your ground like that sometimes. Mm, I like that, that try from Kazam too, shooting the straight crow to try to catch the jump. That just means that if you're a rat, you can pull up on the ground instead, if you see that kind of stuff. Yeah, he tried to do it right there. See? Like, rat recognized that Kazam's trying to, like, strike at the air a lot, so just ran at him on the ground. And then now, next time, oh, I got hit anyway. You can just go for the air approach again, because he's probably going to swing at the yeah, ground. Oh, miss! That's a big drop. Oh, no. That was, that was death. Uh oh, gotta watch the burst, but Kazam doesn't give it away for free. Uh oh, okay, good chance to burst. He does that meter, nice. This should kill. Nice, okay, easy peasy. Nothing too fancy. This is a matchup I know a lot of Leo players have complained about before. I always wonder about this matchup because. In my head, I could see why Leo players wouldn't like it. But I also think they just don't like to block or approach things in a way that's not their normal plan. So that that could be the hater in me. But I really think I really do wonder about the matchup. I, I don't I don't know much about it. I know Leo players I've heard Leo players complain about it, but I, I whenever I watch it and I see Leo players complain about it, I almost always find myself thinking, Why did you do that against Testament? So I could be a hater. If that makes sense. Yeah, if, if you don't have to play your normal your normal game plan, or if you don't get to play your normal game plan, I, it could be frustrating. I'm sure. Oh boy. Yeah, that was gonna hurt. The bear's back already. You're like, yeah, I'm out. Oh. That sucked. Chonky. Wow. Land into the flash kick. That was nice. Charge while in the air so that you can get that. Yeah, it's not that I'm hating or anything. Because uh, I'm not a hater. Generally. And I'm cool with I'm cool with uh, the matchup actually being bad. I just don't know. I don't know for certain. I am. <laughs> You're like, I am a hater, and I know. Oh, try to beat the flash kick. Good on Zippy not to let it rip, though. This should kill, right? Uh, not quite, but it's okay to be a hater. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta hold that hatred. You gotta be like, yeah. 
But I think Zippy approached the neutral pretty well there, which is the, the part where most loyal players don't like in this matchup, right? Oh, the late cancel. Wall break. It's really hard to win this round. Leo with positive bonus is like he just waits and like he's gonna have flash kick RC or he's gonna oh man not a not a good spot to burst the recovery on that's quite good actually dude uh, but he's gonna have flash kick RC or something else in neutral like that so you know yeah dash throw Zippy's doing a good job finding these dash throws. Yeah, part of why it's a bad spot to burst against Testament on that jump H, jump D situation is that jump D into air fireball, generally you have to be very careful because H air fireball has pretty good recovery. And then afterwards, Testament usually hits 5k, which is also like fast recovery. So it's pretty easy for you to accidentally burst into a spot that was burst safe, depending on your timing. Like you can burst the jump D or something, you know, but e easy for that to go bad for you. You got to be careful. Nice. Yeah, I think the neutral from Zippy is great so far. Ran into 6P there, but for the most part, has been doing a good job of being second and not running into anything. Oh, it didn't reach, yep. I like that, because I'm recognizing Zippy's trying to dance out of range. So going for something that works a little farther. No OTGs! If Zippy knew right there, could have woke up with like 2D and punished. Nice. Yeah, that was far slash there. Oh, that's. Are you dead? Oh my god, it was so close. Oh no, I thought that was a bait too. I think Zippy tried. Oh, that hit. Yeah, because I'm playing it real safe. Wall break? Super? <gasps> no super? Ah, the whiff. Zippy, sh yeah, I was going to say, has. Oh, nice. Grabbing here makes sense because grab works if Zippy doesn't back that. <laughs> It's just an unfortunate guess, you know, that you have to make. <laughs> Damn, he flamed him. He said, you grabbing your demon? Damn. Yeah, grab's a fine choice right there. It works on everything that's not backdash, basically, or jump, right? <laughs> he flamed him. Oh, dude, that jump P was sick. Stance cancel 2k didn't reach, but Zippy's big chilling here. Yep, throw PRC. Oh, missed it. <gasps> he missed the dash. Or he got dash back dash. I don't know if it was on purpose or not. Yeah, respected reversal. Break it. Hit a low so you don't get 6p. No. Wow, that was actually smart. Oh, that sucks. That was actually a smart confirm from Zippy because the wall was so far. It didn't work out, but I like the freestyle. I would, I kind of would have liked to see Kazam versus Snake actually, but you know, winner goes on. It's so scary though to do that as Testament in this matchup, just dashing 6P because 2D is like, sure, you beat 2D, right? That's like the thing that you threaten and beat. But like, if you just whiff against Leo and Leo just does nothing and whiff punishes you with 2D or does far slash, like, you just get smoked. You gotta be very careful. Oh, that's burst safe. That's like the one spot everybody knows not to burst against Testament. You gotta get hit by the 2H first. This is, uh, yeah, good luck. Yeah, good luck winning that round. 
Yeah, I think if it was Kazam versus Snake, I don't even know what match you pick because I think both characters probably lose, right? Testament against Pot is not great for Testament, actually, believe it or not. I think a lot of people assume the opposite because you're like, oh, Testament's a zoner. Testament must be good against Potemkin. But because of how Testament zones, it's mostly single hit moves that are not good at armor breaking. So it's actually not the best matchup, I would guess. And Flick is really good. Yeah. People say it's even. I don't know. I've always thought it was a win for Pot. Maybe people just don't want to say Potemkin has winning matchups. Could be one of those. Oh, I don't know what the combo route was going to be there, but I like the attempt. That's interesting. Uh, there's probably something there that Kazam just missed, but it looked cool. I believe you, Kazam. I'm going to give him credit and say that, that whatever he tried actually works, because it, it looked like it's, it does. I give you credit. I like what you did, what you tried to do. Testament has better buttons than Pot. Why didn't I think of that? Oh, that's an unfortunate gold card. Why didn't I think of that? Testament must win, huh? Not exactly how that works, but all right. Armor is good against single hit moves that don't break armor with long recovery, which that's that's what Potemkin's options are good against. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. He's dead. Just walked up and it's just to be close to the wall. Is that gonna splat? I think it is. Is that perfect? It's right close to the wall. Oh, oh no, 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 no. <laughs> yes, sir. A little free, I ain't gonna lie. I mean, you know, it's uh it's almost closing time. <laughs> it's almost closing time. Like like buffering the inputs just to scare him. Yeah. That was a sign to just Haley. I can like I got feast though. That's a heat knuckle behind that next. Oh man, that was spooky. Snake does that a lot. Notice in his neutral, he likes to whiff two Ps and then swing with a big button to try to bait whiff punishes. That's a Street Fighter play. I'm in a player in him, bro. I'm right there with you. Nice 2K. I'm surprised it reached actually. The not the 2K but the follow. Yeah, this is the winners finals rematch. Damn nice, good adjustment. He was really struggling with that in the first set. Nice, love that. That was a good adjustment right there for sure. Let him do it. Yeah, Garuda. I mean, his round starts have been pretty. Oh man, been pretty ham. Snake Eyes' bursts are very uh, aggressive. Like he just wants wants the um, immediate. Nice. He's calling out the bag mega fist a lot now. Good good choices there from Zippy. And there's the jump hard call out. Should be the kill. Noise, noise, noise. Zippy has made some good adjustments after winners finals. Mm -hmm. I like that too, the dash. Oh, that sucks. And he gets the OTG. He didn't go for it. Oh, wow, he bursts. <laughs> Bro. Bro, he's dead. You burst, he's dead. Uh oh. Unless. Yeah, okay. He bursts. I can't believe he bursts there. What a beast. He's like, fuck you. Nice walk back. 5H whip punish. That does a lot of damage, too. Uh, just close slash 2H HPB. I had no idea Snake even played GG. I mean, he plays this game constantly. 
he, he he's like always streaming and constantly playing. You can find hours and hours of replays. He's, his level is like 13,000 or some absurd amount. He's He plays more than almost anybody probably. But he just doesn't play in tournaments. So people just are not used to him. That was a sick whip on it. He's like top five in online level. I totally believe it. He, he plays the game more than almost anybody else. But he doesn't play in tournaments, so, you know, it's easy to miss him. This is what mi pisses me off, is that Snake Eyes is this good and has never played in a tournament until now. I'm like, dude, you could have been entering online tournaments, destroying people, making some money, getting viewership, showing everybody off Potemkin. We could be like, yeah, look at Potemkin go. Yeah. Instead, he pulled up the Texas showdown and was like, what's good? <laughs> I do. Yeah, it is funny that people say he hates the game because he has like, he, he plays it more than almost anybody on the planet. That's one of those, you know. He, he quote unquote hates the game, right? You know, it's one of those. Yeah. Like you, he hates it in parentheses, loves it, you know? It's, it's one of those for sure. Where like, it's, it's both. Yeah. He's such a motherfucker. Cause he's so good and he hasn't been playing in tournament. That's what makes me mad. I'm like, bro, snake pull up. He did that in, in five a lot too, though. Like five. He like won CEO and got second at CB and then like he was at some tournaments for a bit, but then he didn't enter a bunch for a while. And I was like, where's Snake Eyes? Oh, he didn't build a bar for Dust. RC. Yeah, his he also similarly in Street Fighter V was one of the highest ranked players for forever. I like the tap Dust attempt on the mirror. Hate Street Fighter Five too, by the way. One of those. His grappler days might be over in six. Why did he say that? I don't believe him. He he plays uh, Shotos too, though. Like he doesn't just play grapplers. He played um, Evil Ryu in four, and he played uh, what's it called? Uh, Kage in in five. Yeah, I mean, he played Shotos in both games because Geef had bad matchups against certain characters. But he could play whoever. Like, yeah, he doesn't have to play a grappler. He could play any character. Oh my god, I can't believe that. That's that was scary. So you got it, you got it. Yeah, that's it. Now you're just gonna stack on legs all day. Watch this. Yeah, yeah. Like five K. Where was dance cancel too? Damn, fully charged. Try to set Oh my god. Oh my god. This is very, very scary. Respected flash kick. Roll back a net code. Stop! Thanks for this macaroon. You know, I did once beat Snake underscore eyes online one game, so by association I basically won this tournament. Sorry to bring it to you all. I'm happy to hear it. Out of the corner for free. That's in invuln, so it's a pretty good option. Damn. 3 0 reset. I hope one of the grabblers is good in six so he can play it. Is somebody giving him advice up there? Get off the stage. No coaching. I don't know who that was. Wow, he dashed on Potemkin's close slash. You're the bravest man on the planet. Oh, I wonder if that was HPB. Dude, he got the whole screen. That's what's scary about the gold burst. I've done that too, actually. When when I played side by side in tournament and someone comes up to give my opponent advice, I lean over and listen. Who's gonna stop me? This might kill. Oh, if you are seated, would have. 
Yeah. 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 That was pretty good. You air dash over it. You're like, I'm out. Oh my god, he had close slash right there. Holy shit. You, oh man, it could have been worse, actually. Uh oh. <gasps> ah, nice block. Okay. God, I was terrified. Offensive burst, car flick. Ah, that was a good call out on the back dash. Oh, he baited that shit. He baited that shit so hard. He waited for forever. Yeah, I I hope he plays in six also. I like watching Snake compete too. Who doesn't like watching Snake Eyes? Like, play, especially grapplers in tournaments. I mean, it's always like fun to watch. Yeah, stuff to close. If close slash hit it right there, oh boy. I'm, I don't hate grapplers. I hate grappler uh, players. There's a difference. And the kind of grappler players I hate are the people who are like, dude, I had to, you know, I may have command grabbed you one time and won the match, but I, dude, did you see how nasty my reads were, bro? And I'm like, dude, you, you were wrong eight times and right once. You failed the test. And I have to hear about how your reads are so sick. You're, you're like one for nine and you're like, dude, you see my reads? Like right there, command grab whiffs, right? All right. Gets hit by 2D in neutral. You know, like the the amount of successful choices is like, you know, it's skewed. But I don't care because I'm like, all right, fair enough. Well played, you got me. But then they're like, dude, my reads. And I'm like, listen. That's where I'm not. I'm like, listen. Like, yeah, the point of the character is that he has a lot of life, so you can be wrong a lot. That's fine. Right? That's, and I understand that, and I'm cool with that. I got no problems with that. Like, that's totally fine with me. But then when you start to try to make up arithmetic that doesn't, you know, land in any sense, semblance of reality, you're like, you know, look at my reads. Like I did. The difference is Snake Eyes is right. Like, oh, that's a trick. Yeah, this is a dirty trick. If you guys haven't seen this. Nasty. You have this on you, right? So you think, well, I'm stuck in blocks then. I can't be command grabbed, right? Because you're stuck in the mirror block stun. But jump P has less block stun and it lets him command grab you without you being stuck in block stun from the mirror. So this is a very common setup. And then if you hold up or you jump, then the mirror is still there, right? And then you land on the mirror. So he gets the combo. Yeah. Common setup. Yeah, you guys don't know about this one? I see you guys have never run into a, a Potemkin player in Celestial. They all do this. After you see the jumpy, you just gotta jump. Or backdash and eat the hit on the mirror. Ooh, that's a good bait. Got him. Yeah, he's back dash command grab that so many times. Pot's got a good back dash. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think it's smart to not FD him away if you're waiting for... Ooh, that's scary. If you're waiting for the command grab anyway, or the uh, the overhead rather to backdash. Yep. <clears throat> 2P catches 2D. We've seen that so many times. Cross up? That shit's cheap. Did you see that, by the way? It like pulled him back to the front. Nice. That's the kill. That shit is cheap. Yeah, Super PRC is extremely good. If your character has Super PRC, it's incredibly strong. It's a really strong thing to have. Especially if you have a command grab. I think it's better on characters with good mix-ups. Oh my god, again. One thing that he has to do, Zippy, probably, is just stagger, delay, back turn, ass to catch back dash. That's probably the this, this strat. Super PRC is on characters who super start up. Uh, when they have invuln is really long, it allows them to take advantage of the startup frames and PRC before it comes out. Oh my god. So if you have a fast startup super, you can't do it. Oh no, it dropped! Nice, that was a good wave from Snake. Yeah, really good. This is really, really smart. The way he just waits here, because instead of command grabbing or doing something, he lets him jump so that he can just 2H and then take the plus frames. And then now he can 50-50, right? Command grab, low. Overhead, whatever. Very smart. Where you been, motherfucker? Pull up into all these other goddamn tournaments. Look at how much fun it is to watch him play the video game. Pull up. Dude, you know why everybody has wanted Snake Eyes to go to tournaments since this game came out? Because he is hella good. And he doesn't play in any tournaments ever. And, like, imagine... How different the perspective of the character and game would be if Snake Eyes entered tournaments all the time. The amount of people who are like, I knew Potemkin's always been busted, anyone can cook, etc. is wild. Dude, we all know Potemkin is one of the weakest characters, okay? Even though that's the case, like, he can win a tournament, sure. It's never any credit to the player, it's always just like, well, 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 these guys were bitching about Potemkin the whole time being shitty, and look at that! And it's like, dude. People could be playing him better. That's what that's how it works with every character. But also, bro, chill. Every tournament win for any character is a race to see how fast you can discredit the player and put blame on the character. When Mochi wins, it's not like, damn, Mochi's kind of nasty with it. It's like, I fucking told you guys that Soul Bad Guy is broken. And everybody that plays Soul here is trash. Potemkin wins. It's like, not damn, Snake Eyes kind of nasty with it. It's like, well, 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 I told you guys pot this whole time. Because if you just say that they're good, then that's like, well, why are you not winning? Is it because you're not good? It's like, no, well, look at this character and that character. And actually this character can win. And my character's not as good as you think because of X and Y. You know, it's like maybe not at the forefront of what you say, but obviously built in the background. You can see why people say that kind of stuff. When the game came out and like throughout the game's lifespan, when people were talking about characters, I'm sure a lot of you remember people like me being like, hey guys, you know, X or Y character is very strong, but the cast is actually like well built, right? Like there are lots of characters that have lots of cool tools. Lots of characters can win. And like, if you really think about the game and dig in there, there's all these systems and these characters are effective. People were not singing the same tune. You, you probably remember a lot of people being like, no, Soul is broken, this game X and Y, all these characters, it's just Soul and Ram are busted. And then now, like, a, you know, years into the game, everybody's like, oh, guys, the, every character is so, look at, like, all the, man, isn't it wild that, and it's like, they weren't listening back then. And now it's like, it behooves you to try and talk about how every other character is broken as a way to downplay a player's successes or your own shortcomings, right? When it could just, you know, it's always been the truth. Most of it is off the strength of the player. In, in this case, especially, I think. Like, Potemkin is not some godly character. Like, he has lots of problems. Potemkin could have been spun a different way, too. Because, like, imagine if at this tournament, Tempest, Hotashi, you know, Umisha, like, all the, the normal, like, slew of top players are there. If Potemkin gets, like, third or fifth or seventh or something, people would have been like, dude, Snake Eyes is working his ass off and playing so well, and he can't win against these broken characters top tier this and that you know what i mean like people who win with top tier characters are also good and people who win with weak characters are also good like it's not you know Demkin is weak but he's not a uh, character you cannot win with texas showdown is a sick tournament i've been how many times have i been in texas showdown two or three times maybe it's a fun event i recommend it if you've never been all the games were fun to watch i don't know if you guys watch kof kof also very good i will not be here tomorrow the next day i'm on an esports mission next 
Tuesday, you'll see what I was doing this Tuesday.